it's been a long while. I can't even count. Like, it's been more than three months, you know, because coming back to YouTube, filming, it's as if I don't even know what to do anymore, like how to theme, how to set up. And I don't want to like force myself to like, I have to up upload a content or something like that i just feel this energy of not wanting to do any of that i just need to hire somebody to take care of this technical stuff when it comes to youtube because the pressure is there it's not just the pressure to create a content and upload the pressure is to keep up with it to be consistent and in that i have all the things in my personal life that I need to sort out, I need to get in other, I need to work hard, I need to provide, I need to take care of myself, you know, being a single person. Today, um, I don't know what courage, but it's just, it's a lot. It took me a lot to actually record this video because I really did not know what I want to do. But this is a step for what is yet to come. Okay, I hope by 2022, my channel pick up, things becomes better, you know, consistent wise, content wise and stuff. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, you're welcome. If you're not new here, I thank you very much for, you know, being there, you know, waiting, 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 you know, wishing and upload, wishing and upload. I really appreciate you. You don't know how much I love you. Like, I know I see some of you on my Instagram page, watching my stories, my pictures. Yeah, you can see me. I'm different, you know, in my, in my Instagram and stuff, but in my YouTube is like, she just abandoned us okay i didn't mean to but i was just in a space in my life that um i wasn't happy with um with the way i wanted my content to be with the way i was just doing stuff really hopefully me coming back it should be better that reminds me i have sat down and did some video recordings and you know some of them did not make it to upload just enough of me ranting this is just gonna be a chill get ready with me video um i'm not going out i'm just gonna look good you know we're gonna do hair and you know gonna, gonna do you know makeup so it's not gonna be a very bold makeup it's gonna be um you know simple easy soft glam makeup so if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe before you go right so i did wash all of my brushes the time i was away and i took my time to sort them out you know to what i'm gonna be doing constantly okay so i'm gonna have a separate brush to apply my primer and um yes because I, I don't want to use my hand to apply my primer. i think this brush should be good to apply a primer this is the morphe m512 i've had it for a long time and i haven't used it some of the things i haven't used for the past one year i've given them to charity some of them i'm gonna start using it because why not my good hood foundation brush and i'm gonna be using a different brush for my concealer believe you not as this this is a morphe g33 brush i don't know if they still do all this um j collection or not because I've been away from makeup for so long that I don't know what is trending. I don't know what brand is out there. You know, I don't even know. So anyway, whenever you want to apply your product to your face, um, whether it's there sitting down for a long time, you got to always clean the top bit because of dirt, you know, dust flying everywhere. Even if it's washed, you know, things settle on top of stuff. So always give it a good wipe which i just did now yeah my lips will be dry so to apply our primer i'm going to be using the milk grip hydro primer all over the face 
Ooh. Oh. See, like when I was away, I have had a lot of changes. Um, in my life. Oh, I hate to apply makeup when my lips is dry. Like you know, I used to have a very natural air. So in the midst of that, I had to go make my hair. Um, what was that word again? Texturize my hair. I don't know if this brush is a good brush to apply primer, but. I don't, it, it is doing the work, but I don't think it is working. So we're just gonna manage this for now. With time, we'll find something suitable. The fibers on the brush are just falling apart. You can see that all over my face. So the next is our foundation. Uh, this is the Fenty. I forgot in what, what foundation is this? This is the Ease Drop Blur, Blurry Skin Tint. Um, this is my first time like ever using this foundation and also reviewing it as well because I do do makeup review but for some reason I kind of abandoned this thing so but this video is not really a review but technically kind of me you know anyway this is uh, the Fenty foundation eavesdrop I feel like I'm the last person to use this foundation like everybody initially when I wanted to buy this foundation it was so that everywhere like it was this this shade particular was like everyone's favorite like when you go to an any Fenty boot you can't even find it so that was my problem why I couldn't have any one of these to try so this is um, shade 20 um, yeah so I really do not know anything about this foundation I haven't done any um, review or any research so I know it was something that I was interested in trying a um, few months ago but of course I bought it now so I need to try it so yeah you know me I like full coverage let's remind you guys if you know if you don't know my skin texture I am um but oily and dry skin com that com combination skin really but mostly the drying part you know sometimes yeah depending on the day the weather so so and also I love my full coverage foundation like I don't need to of a skin finish foundation because there's no point of having a skin finish if majority of my time 80% of my time I am not with makeup so why will I want to wear, apply makeup and have it very light or sheer coverage it does not make any sense I might as well don't wear nothing so one thing with getting older is that you develop a lot of skin issue like fine lines facial air you know breakout you know a lot of stuff you know I'm gonna not put too much foundation on my forehead just because my air star is a bit of a bang you know again we call it French not French 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 but it's called bang but a bit of a bang and um, yeah I don't want it to like to spend too much time over there because you know our hair is going to be covering it you know what I'm saying so me coming back I think I also want to spend time on vlogging like you know show my very life let's cover those our eye pigmentation to your chin See, I hate when you apply a makeup and your hair is seen through. If you come close to my face, you can see my upper lip hair. It's so irritating. I couldn't find my razor to actually give it a trim, so you know what? This is our comeback video, so we're gonna make good use of it. You know, we don't, we don't wanna like start and not finish. Contour, contour, contour. Do we still do contour? Um, I was gonna use what brush for my contouring. 
I'm gonna use this door fiber brush I used to have one a uh, fluffy big out door fiber brush but that uh, that brush has reached its end of you know use so this anyone and um, yeah we're gonna be contouring so. honestly the last time I apply makeup was on my birthday September I'm not, I'm not lying and I'm not joking so that was like four months September October November December that's about two months or three months that's up like literally that long and I stopped uploading like in August so in between August I probably did just wear more makeup once like okay so you know good old blending oh i think I'm, i like this brush very smooth blending you can see that oh again for this side so the contour um that i'm using is juvie's place contour in number seven so most of my makeup I have except Fenty foundation on my old collection makeup so there's like nothing different you know no update I've done any shopping like I said earlier on so yeah I might as well just contour the forehead you know but whoa, whoa, we can't lose anything so we go ahead to you know brighten up this face by applying applying our concealer under eye concealer so I'm gonna be using these two shades from Fenty 390 and 370 so 370 is a bit lighter than 390 so it's gonna go on top of 390 so I'm gonna apply to a um, night first so it's a bit confusing now mm. I think like while I was away, I kind of learned something about applying concealer. Like you don't have to apply all the way like a triangle section anymore. You just do like this, and yeah, I think that's what I learned, and, and it did work because I think I used that on my body. I think it did work. So you apply like this. Yes, we have to also pull that facial expression. Come on, oh, like that. Of course. We don't forget the bridge of the nose, the forehead, oh, any chin area. Uh, I think I like to be doing this now, covering the edge of the mat. So going on top of this work of art um we had in 370 so we're just gonna blend everything together at once they are set that's why i love them fenty and um two face they're not that watery concealer they are really set so i normally use um before i used to use beauty blender and also i was using a flat um taper brush from from now on i'm gonna be using this angle shape door fiber dust brushed it's door fiber because it got two fiber ends and it's angled and it is a very dense brush it's not fluffy so that's what i'm going to use to blend so where should i start from um oh is this a good idea starting from the chin area okay i can see the difference i can see is this dual fiber is actually making my concealer. It's not doing what I want it to do. That's weird. It's a bit weird because it's like it's giving me a different color. It's blending, but it's 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 dark. So I'm gonna go back to my brush, like literally. So let me see. See, I blend here for these to be just blend away. Just blend away like like that and I go about with this dwarf fiber is a sieve is making the concealer 
dark than what I want it to be so I don't understand yeah and then we blend it on the eye as well oh yes blend and then you blend that together you can drag it out I feel like my face is so textural that the foundation everything is not smooth because you know it's been a long time I've applied makeup and my face is not used to it and then you know not exfoliating so it's giving me a text textured skin okay and you want to do the same for the other side because the thing is drying down connect it connect it blend 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 mm. So we'll come back with our contour brush to blend the edge of the nose. I like it like this. And as well, edges of the high where the contour meets. See, I'm lost of you know track with when it comes to makeup so I'm also learning as I'm going because there's a lot of trick in the market so once we're done with our blending we want to go ahead to bake or set the face so I am gonna be setting my under eye no baking no baking so before I set my under eye I'm gonna just blend that one more time to reduce creasing even if I can't really avoid it because my face has been away for a long time there's a brush you know I can't remember guys so I'm gonna just do it like this it's something I used to set the face you did blend up oh it's not here so anywhere we put our lighter concealer, we're gonna use this powder or um, press powder to just set the face. Set the face. It's good to be a genuine because when you're genuine, you move mountains. You do the undoings. You be you. You put a smile on people's face. Ooh. Saying that is not really necessary because you're gonna set that, but under her is more important to remove the excess oil from the concealer. So, oh, the powder I use in setting my face is the. Mac NC 44.5. I'm not gonna change that for anybody for no brand. Those are my go-to products for my own face. Okay, and to set the rest of the face, I'm gonna use Mac and B for Isis. And that's on that period. I'm gonna use Morphe MB1. You can see her tapered, not tapered, but her big and fluffy there's this brush here so this is my all powder brush uh, anywhere my foundation my contour this is what I use in setting them and you know blending them together bring the miracles the miracle Ooh. Ooh. bring it the magic together together look at how beautiful look at how flawless <laughs> tell me about it Ooh. so we've done that so we need to apply our bronzer and blush and highlight do our high brush wear a little bit of a minimal eye look makeup lipstick do our hair and so next um you know I think we're gonna do our highs last, so let's 
did I bring this here? Oh yeah, I brought it here. So let's focus on our bronzer and then our blush. Oh no. I have to blush with me. Excuse me, I have to go back. So what blush are we gonna use? We're gonna use this blush right here. So let me get my bronzer again. For our bronzer, I'm gonna be using the Juvis Place bronze collection in dark. Ooh, just caught it. Just caught it on time. That's the bronzer I'm gonna use. Yeah, I stopped receiving PR from Juvis Blaze or QT Bay. I don't blame them. I wasn't doing videos more often or showing their product. Yes, I was doing review, but if that is if they're watching my channel. So for my bronzer, do you want to be bronze or do I just want to be brown? Tan. Um, I'm just gonna mix this to chocolate together. Ooh. And just bronze it out. I need to see myself clearly. Come on. Oh. Oh. Look at this. You see? Now you don't see. Oh. I think I've stopped doing those counter powder, some bronze powder. There's so many things together because at the end of the day, they're all going in one place. So they're gonna mix together. I'm gonna use this blush. This is the blush Rouge Volume One from Juvie's Place, and I'm gonna be using this lovely Real Techniques Multitask Brush, Bronze Brush, to give us. A coral blush. What do we think about coral? Oh, give that cheek a pop of color, pop of color. Mm. Take that too much. And just blend. The bronzer, the blush together. I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place Tribe Volume 3 Highlighter. I like. Wrong time. You're calling the wrong time. Oh, copyright, 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 copyright. I forgot. Highlight, we're just gonna fan it like we're trying not for it to be a big deal for the highlight, but similar like it's only a big deal. Does anybody still do highlight? Like, is it that really important to like alight the face? Like, what is the purpose of highlight really? Yes, it's good for photo shoot, photography stuff, like what is this can we leave with our ally like do we have to dude that is so intense that is so i and i'm still applying more oh my god so i don't like the way i'm looking that so i'm gonna go a little bit with my blush to like diffuse the highlight if i can see do that I was like, I feel like the mistake was applying that eye light. Like, who the hell are you? You ruined my makeup. Should we eye light the nose? Well, whatever is left on the brush, we can just go over the nose for it. Maybe just a little bit. Wait to wait. Uh, uh, uh. Fun, 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 huh? Ooh, so they're matching together. Mm. Like my lips are so dry right now, yeah. No, no, no. 
no, 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 please, please, please don't do that to me. I, 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 let me spray my face, let it sink in, like seasoning. Hmm. Okay, so while we are, you know, marinating, let me do my eyebrows and we'll come back and do the eyeshadow and the lamps. Okay. So for my eyebrows, I did go ahead to use my ColourPop um, Cool Cocoa pencil for my eyebrows very natural and they clean up with my MAC and C45 um, studio finish concealer and then as my base for my eyeshadow I use my P Louise base rumor number five and then I blend it out with my Morphe G34 eye brush or base brush whatever you call it and give it a bit of a zappy motion, zappy motion. And then for our eyes, we're gonna be using this palette. This is called the Brown Rustic Palette by Juvia's Place. I literally, this video is just all about Juvia's Place and Vintage Beauty and Come Back. So we just want something simple, not too much. Not through how they just let the mirror color work. So I'm gonna be using this shade right here. A mix of these and maybe a little bit this by here. You get a vibe. Um Yeah, where do we go from? We go wait, where's that shade? That shade nothing is coming out like what oh uh, yeah maybe because you know our eyeshadow is skin base so it's not wanting to pop but i'll make it pop yeah so i think with this eyeshadow you have to keep on packing it and packing it and packing it and packing it until you see the payout Dun 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 I just want to use like two colours. What do you think? Like nothing exaggerated, nothing too much. Honestly, like that shade is pissing me off. Like, can you just come out? Like, do I have to come off at you? Yeah, and give it blindy. Let's see where we're gonna put that new shade. Oh, look at that new shade. Look at that new shade. Look at that. Very beautiful. 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 Yes. And blend them out together up to the brows up to the brows yeah well you gotta blend it because that shade don't wanna pop oh see very beautiful mm. beautiful and this ring inside you see that i miss this i miss this part of makeup so much Ooh. so i'm gonna apply my mascara on the side of the heart because you know we're gonna feel the other side i think do I ever really like this mascara? Why did I pick it? I don't even know. I think the fact that I haven't been wearing makeup or even 
Oh, I think that mascara is dry. I need to bring another one. So, I haven't been wearing makeup, so my lashes got time to lengthen out to grow. You know, it makes a huge difference sometimes. You don't have to be wearing lashes all the time. Okay. Okay, we, we're gonna do the bottom lash as well. So, we really done that mascara. That that guy in the bin well before we do our hair we'll finish our highs and everything so let me just finish this here because when i come back i'm going to come back to do my hair that's for sure mm. oh why did i pick this color cool it now i don't know why i picked this color but i'm vibing with it with it we haven't finished Anyway, this is my hair underneath this um, bonnet. Yeah, how um, messy it is. So I'm gonna come with my hair straight now and need to tongue up this hair. So I'm gonna go brush it, finish with my eye look, and then we're gonna come back for the finished look and our on our, and 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 our outro. Trust me on that. This is the last stage guys, this is the finished high look, this is the reason why I did want to emphasize more um, attention on my forehead just because like see, um, I'm having a bang, it's covering it, so we're, like there's really no point, even the eyebrows, so yeah, so this hair has been underneath a, I think this part, I don't know where it's coming from, but some of this part is long in an order so we're gonna tongue our bank properly so i am using the remy tank air straightener it's on lock so i'm gonna unlock it it's piping out so it has up to 238 so yeah i'm not good in terms of like ooh, ooh, something's burning because there's like water on the tip of the hair so in terms of like tonguing my own hair um you know i'm not so good at that i see a lot of people that are so good at that but i not me but if it's on a mannequin oh yes or a dot or anything else trust me i will tongue that into perfection but because it's on my head i don't know where this bee will fly I got these tiny flyaways. Ugh, you know what? Can't be bothered. Because it's on my head, I find it difficult. Can't do it properly, so I'm just gonna do just a little bit of what I'm gonna do. If you haven't noticed, you can see that I I moved or maybe you don't really need to know these but if you follow me on my um, Instagram you must have known I've been fixing some you know chest drawers, what drop that's because I did move home compared to my you know um, home tour I did a year ago um, I'm in a different place now which place do I feel was better it depends really because like I didn't really get to use much of the space I had in my whole space. I feel like living in that place kind of like just made me bored, just kind of like killed my own vibe of YouTube, you know, because like there's a lot of things that was wrong with the apartment that of course you can't really, you can't say on, you can say but it's like it was just too difficult at that time so there was no motivation at all we battled with more problem in the house it was terrible but i thank god of where we are now 
it's, it's not perfect you're going to a perfect place but it is much much better from from where we're coming from before i go out if it's two days my hair has been on there and burn it i have to thank it at some part i like the hair or some holder part i'm like let me take it off okay that's the way i can do my bangs Ooh. Ooh. Yep, and the last one. <sighs> oh, yep, let's turn it off. I don't know it's off. We can use the hot version to just go through the hair like it's not really that deep. This hair is more sleek when it comes under water. I just feel like going swimming. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this is what I don't want. This rough edges of this bank at all. I wonder what's that? Come on. Hmm, yeah, that is the type of bang I want. Not that. This is our look, our beauty. Uh oh. You know, maybe not a beauty, but this is the finished look, guys. For the chilling, relaxing, get ready with me. You know, coming back to makeup, coming back to filming. It's a bit different. Things have changed in the last six months or so. Beauty industry has changed. Personal life has changed. Like, it's good to take change with them and adapt with them. So, but. I feel like I still want to be doing YouTube. I just love working on stuff, creating content, you know, just, you know, expanding my knowledge of editing and thinking about outside the box item. And what do we, uh, what I love, which is makeup, you know. So for a long time, I haven't worn makeup. Looking at myself now, I'm like, wow, is that you or who are you? Kind of vibe so this is a very relaxing i made this a very so relaxing this video um you can see the house is not that powerful the attention is not on the highs everything like the face is beautiful you know of course i'm covering my pimples and that um the lips i don't know why i went for the lips but it's all complementary each other and that's why i'm wearing a yellow um top so it's like okay yeah, so I really, really, really miss you guys. You know, you don't know how much I miss reading your comment, your suggestion, you're there and everything. And I'm sorry for leaving you that long, but sometimes I just want to take a break and just like reflect on things that I want to do to make it different and why being a better person why growing up as well because we grow every day we get older every day we get wiser every day and we experience things every day um life is not static and you don't have to sit in one place and accept that you are gonna move on because time goes quick time goes quick so i'm glad that um I'm getting back in the um, energy that I want to be to be able to um, come here, be myself, and give you the good content you're open for. Okay, so yeah, 
and that's what I gotta say really so I don't know what suggestion you guys would like me to do or any topics to talk about um just let me know you can always let me know through my DM or my Instagram or message me or email me not even email you know leave a comment here we'll talk about it I think I'm also gonna set a date of where um I'm probably gonna be going live on my YouTube I haven't gone live on my YouTube ever yeah so I need to go live and you guys talk to me personally you know it's, you like, it's just different if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe before you go like and you made it this far thank you mostly people don't make it to the end of my video and sometimes I leave the important thing in the end of the video okay so click on that notification bell icon so you don't miss none of my posts from now on i think i am planning things that i want to do but you know just pray it work out it's so good anyway and um what else what is what is what is what is yeah don't forget to like this video click the like button even youtube has changed you know like the dislike button you can't even see how many people dislike your video how cool is that and even more that i don't even know of like youtube is just like going on a different level but i enjoyed it everybody enjoy it come on don't tell me you don't anyway i hope you guys like this look or this you know video tutorial whatever this hairstyle Ooh. i do too i look like cleopatra youtube cleopatra and I like my hair when I when I pack it like this. Like I look much nicer, much neater. And I also like it when I leave it flying. Anyway, I'm gonna draw the curtain of this video because the video is really long now and I don't intend it to be that long because I am gonna struggle to edit it. But anyway, um catch you in my next video. Please take care of yourself, love yourself, be yourself. Bye.